Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is April 30th, 2023, and the Barcelona Femini have been crowned champions of the Women's League. Also, Marta Stegen has broken one more record with yesterday's match. And finally, it's reported that Lamine Yamal will be signing his first professional contract come this summer. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Mo, and before we begin with the news, just a quick reminder to make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It goes a long, long way in helping this small and humble channel continue to grow. Also, if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise, make sure you hit the kit back. The link is down below in the description. And finally, I would like to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart for all of your good wishes since I was sick yesterday. Thankfully, I'm feeling much, much better today, and I'm ready to bring, you, to bring you all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Now, begin with the great, great news that the Barcelona Femini defeated Sporting Huelva today, 3-0, and with this victory, the Barcelona Femini have been officially crowned champions of the Women's League, with six matches still left in the league. Now the Barcelona family have had an amazing season and just to put it all in context, they are currently sitting at the top of La Liga table with 78 points, having scored 108 goals, have only conceded 5 goals. Again, they have scored 108 goals and only conceded 5. These are amazing, amazing numbers. What makes these numbers even more incredible is that the Barcelona Femini are having a perfect season, having won 26 out of 26 matches. Now, this is the fourth La Liga title for the Barcelona Femini in a row, and they are in the Champions League final, and if they do win, that will be their third Champions League in five years, and that's just a huge testament that not only are the Barcelona Femini the best team in the world, but in fact, they are so much superior to other teams that there's nobody to come close to them. Now, another great news about the Barcelona Femini that the captain, Alexia Putellas, who has missed the most of the season due to an ACL injury that she picked up in the summer of 2022. She, has, she is finally back and she played in today's match. And she will now have four more matches to get ready for the Champions League match. And hopefully she'll be ready for that final. And hopefully we'll see the Barcelona Femini lift their third Champions League trophy in five years. Now, speaking of La Liga title, the men's team are set to face off against Osasuna on Tuesday. And if Barcelona win that match, and if Real Madrid lose their respective match against Real Sociedad at Anoeta, which is a very difficult stadium for any teams that goes there, then Barcelona will have, to, will have the chance to win La Liga on the weekend against Espanyol at the Espanyol Stadium, which would be a very special occasion for Barcelona to wrap up La Liga title at the stadium of their bitter rivals. And this would also most likely sentence Espanyol to be relegated to the second division. Now, Barcelona defeated Real Betis yesterday 4-0 at the Spotify camp now, maintaining one more clean sheet. And with this match, Marter Stegen has broken Claudio Bravo's record for the most clean sheets in a single season, where Claudio Bravo had 23 clean sheets and Marta Stegen now has 24. Now, Marta Stegen is only one clean sheet away of breaking the European record for the most clean sheets in a single season in the 21st century, and he will have six more matches this season in order to break that record. Now, speaking of yesterday's match, we saw the debut of La Masia's crown jewel, Lamine Yamal, who even though played for 10 minutes, he displayed lots of flashes of brilliance, almost scored in a goal, providing two passes that almost resulted in two goals, and just showing his absolute skill and talent, his brilliant touch, and of course his absolute fearlessness as La Mina Mal was trying to do everything like he's been playing with the first squad for a long time. Now at 15 years old, La Mina Mal became the youngest player to debut with the first squad in the history of Barcelona. He's only, and he's also the youngest player to debut in La Liga in the 21st century. Now, La Minia Mal's contract will expire with Barcelona in the summer of 2024, and the club are currently working on giving him uh, his first professional contract once he turns 16 in the summer of 2023. And it's reported that the negotiations are mostly complete and that La Minia Mal will be signing 
his first professional contract with Barcelona until 2026 with a 500 million euro release clause. Now it's also reported that as soon as Lamine Yamal signed his first professional contract when he turned 16 in the summer, that he will automatically get promoted to the first squad. So he'll go from the Juvenil A or the under 19 youth team directly to the first squad without going through the Barca Athletic, just like Gabi did as well. Now on to the news that the Barcelona reporter Gerard Romero, who's a very reliable source of news when it comes to FC Barcelona, has reported that the club considered that the starting defensive line of yesterday, which was Jules Kunde, Ronald Araujo, Andreas Christensen, and Alejandro Balde, are considered as untransferable players by Barcelona. Now, if the club do receive an offer north of 90 million euros, then they would consider selling any of these players. But this doesn't mean that they would. This just means that the club would have to consider an offer north of 90 million euros given the club's financial situation. But for now, these players are on the untransferable list and that none of these players are up for sale. Now, this is good news because for the longest time, we were hearing a lot of rumors in the media that Barcelona were considered selling Andreas Christensen. So it seems that those rumors are false, that Christensen is considered an untransferable player and that Barcelona would only contemplate selling him if they receive an offer north of 90 million euros. Now the defensive line was not the only section that shined in yesterday's match. Our midfield was also spectacular and I have a very interesting statistic in regards to our midfield and it seems that Busquets, Gabi, Pedri and Frankie de Jong have coincided in seven matches so far this season and every single one of those matches where these four players started together Barcelona won. So that's a 100% effectivity rate for these four starting midfielders having won seven out of the seven matches when all these four players started together. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I would like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, bisca Barca.